and then trying to get them trucks to work. And what we've got is the main loop basically in the program. All it does is just simply outputs information and everything's done by entrucks. This is not using sensors. This is just using entrucks. And things are getting a bit warm, so I don't want to go too far. But basically, I can turn it up. There we go. This is the mark. And so that's obviously using the uh, intro, and you can hear it, it's quite a pure tone, so it obviously is working okay, and we're getting updates every second, but normally in a situation like that you tend to hear like a little kick each time it does an update, um, but it's not, so it's good and it's working okay, but I'm trying to actually incorporate that into using the sensor model. And the problem I've got there is that we've got two things happening that are in a race condition because the mark is like a timeout and so it needs to fire an interrupt to fire off the space so you get a mark in space which are both timed and that's when you're running low. Uh, but when you're running at high speed then the sensor update is the one that's going to kick it in so you won't get a timeout for the mark it will be just the sensor update and the space is timed always. So we're using timers, right, for the mark and this isn't using a timer for the space. No. What it's doing is it's getting a timer hang on a second, what is it? So this is using a timer interrupt. Uh, yes. So this is using a timer interrupt. As you can see, for firing off a space. So it does a space with a tap with a loop, and then followed by a mark. Okay, and then it moves on to the next step. Okay. And the main loop, as you can see, is just all it is is just printing out serial data, which is what we're seeing, which is the controls. So it's the timer interrupt seems to work, but when I use two timers, it seems to go wrong. So I'm just wondering if it's because I've run out of uh, interrupts or something. I don't know. Anyway, I have to go back a couple of steps, but that's working, isn't it? See? That's fine, isn't it? And it's a pure tone, which tells me that it's low speed. There we go, that's nothing. I'm bring the mark in. I'm just have to merge it because, yeah, because things are obviously it's a it's a stepper sequence rather than a, a motor. Uh, I tend to get rather hot motors when things go like this. There we go. And just back it up. There we go. It smooths it down when you back it off a bit. So it's not trying to hold it so tightly. There we go. See? That's quite nice. And the space one is the one that's actually, it's reading that and it's setting the space uh, timer from the control. The mark is just done from the, uh, it's just a loop on the mark one. So we really need to go. Pretty controlled over there, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we'll call it a day because that's getting a bit hot. There we go. So we can use interrupts. It's just I think it's limited on the number of interrupts that it has on the actual Atmel chip. So I'm going to have to do a bit of research on that. But that's working okay, and that's nice, and it, it means we can get our updates. You know, so, yeah, anyway, I'll do.